The series finale to BBC's hit crime drama Peaky Blinders is almost upon us, as the show's director and screenwriter Stephen Knight recently revealed that writing on the upcoming film's script is almost over. If you're interested in learning more, then stick around to the end as we talk more about our favorite gang of razor blade slinging mafia figureheads in today's video. Starting off with, how far has the script come? In a recent interview with the British publication New Musical Express, Knight talked about how the film was coming together and it looks like production could begin sooner than anyone thought considering the script for the film is nearing completion. Not only did he reveal that filming could begin soon, but he also talked about how they were in the process of setting up film and television studios in Digbeth, Birmingham. Knight also explained the historical reasoning behind the choice of locations in the series, stating that the real-life Peaky Blinders, the ones on which the show based its characters, were more prominent than the areas selected by Knight as back backdrops for the series. He concluded by talking about how filming in the locations where the original gang once ruled the streets made the film feel as if the Peakies were basically coming home. Plus, everything is also going according to schedule. In the same interview with NME, Knight also expanded upon his previous comments about when the film's production could potentially begin, stating that it would likely begin within the next few months. Considering the fact that he's already claimed 2023 as a potential starting date for filming back in 2021 when he spoke at the BFI Film Festival about the upcoming film, everything seems to be still on track. While details on the film itself are still pretty scarce, not surprisingly, since the release is still a way off, it seems the story of the Shelby family and their gang might be getting wrapped up. However, Knight hinted that there will be plenty of characters that the fans have gotten to know or love over the course of the series, as well as a plethora of new faces, but he didn't reveal whether the movie would be a prequel, set before the events prior to the end of the First World War, or follow on from the jaw-dropping cliffhanger it left us on in the season 6 finale. Even though we don't know much about the plot or time period yet, Knight has previously stated multiple times that he wants to set it around the beginning of the Second World War. Since the series originally began the year after the end of the First World War, it would be a very fitting way to wrap up the saga. Fans are quite excited to see the return of the Blinders. Peaky Blinders has garnered quite the fan base since we were first introduced to the enthusiastic crime boss Tommy Shelby and his merry band of razor wielders, and it has become one of the most beloved British shows in recent history. Throughout the course of the show, it has earned plenty of acclaim, including a BAFTA win for Best Drama Series back in 2018. Season 6 once again surpassed the previous seasons in terms of quality and hype, proving to be a popular conclusion to the series. It's also one of the few series which has a stunning 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Considering the movie will be marking the end of this much beloved show, Knight talked about how he wanted the film to be a shared experience that brings all corners of the community together. We don't need to tell you how excited people are to see this movie. The hype is already there, like an itch that never goes away. But the series conclusion might just scratch it once and for all. But it may not be the end for the Peaky Blinders. During his panel at the BFI London Film Festival, Knight gave all of us fans some hope at a series of shows depicting the Peaky Blinders cast beyond the movie, though it'll probably be the end of the road for many characters that we've gotten to know. As well as the Peaky Blinders as a whole, he gave us a little tease that the world of the show could continue in other offshoots. Some fans have speculated that the rivalry between Tommy's newfound son Duke and the freshly exiled Finn Shelby could be expanded upon in the film or the potential spin-off that Knight had hinted at. Plus, there are still the repercussions from Michael's execution by Tommy, so a war between US gangs and the Peakies might be in the works. Although all of this is just speculation at this point, we hope that the movie won't be the last time we get to see the antics of the Shelby crime family slash syndicate. Meanwhile, in other Peaky Blinders related news, Cillian Murphy reveals that he almost lost the role for Tommy because of typecasting. Being the leader of the titular Peaky Blinders gang turned mafia syndicate, fans have watched Tommy constantly work out ways to help elevate the status of his family in the world. Throughout the course of the series, we get to see the fruits of his labor, as well as the mental toll his goals had on him. Needless to say, it takes a certain level of commitment and gravitas to execute such a complex character. This is where Cillian Murphy comes into the picture. Thomas Shelby is arguably one of his most iconic roles, earning him praise each season from critics and fans alike for his portrayal of the patriarch of the Shelby family. Over the span of a decade, he has revealed 
the layers of emotions under the cold, dead stare of the crime boss that allowed viewers to continue rooting for him, even when he embraced the darkest depths of his ambition and committed the vilest of deeds for his family. You can't say that Cillian Murphy isn't the perfect cast for Tommy Shelby, but as it turns out, he might have never had the role at one point during the casting process. This was because the creator, Stephen Knight, had another person in mind for the role. During the time of casting for Thomas Shelby, Knight was looking at two established Hollywood actors, Cillian Murphy and Jason Statham. Knight was leaning more towards Statham for the role, explaining that Murphy hadn't come across as the right fit for a character like Tommy when they first met in person. Statham already had the body needed for the role at the time of casting, and Murphy was left to wonder whether or not typecasting could cost him the opportunity to play the role. The odds were stacked against him. Now, almost 10 years later, Murphy's portrayal of the iconic gangster has been a defining point in his career. It also proved that he can portray roles outside his usual physicality. All it took was a push in the right direction and a simple reminder that, at the end of the day, he was an actor, and actors be acting. Next up, the Peaky Blinders film could be a potential setup for a rivalry between Thomas Shelby's two oldest sons. After the death of his daughter, Ruth Shelby, Tommy discovered that he had an illegitimate son named Erasmus, or Duke as he liked to go by, so he didn't hesitate to welcome him to the family. The young man, who was reluctant to join the gang at first, had already been fully integrated into the ways of the blinders by the end of the season, and also took on a very important role that sets him up as a potential heir and successor to Tommy's legacy. He was also the one to dictate Finn's verdict to him, showing just how much trust Tommy puts in him. On the other hand, given the obvious disdain of Tommy's other son, Charles, the show has set the stage for a possible confrontation between the two heirs. While Tommy originally wanted Charles to control the legal side of the business and Duke to operate from the shadows, the pair may not be sold on this partnership. Watching how this is handled in the movie will certainly be very interesting to see, and fans are left to wonder who would hold the keys to the kingdom by the end of the film. And lastly, could Ada be the successor to the Shelby family throne? Peaky Blinders' sixth season finally gave the only sister in the Shelby family, Ada Thorne, the starring role that she rightfully deserved. Throughout the course of the show, she has pretty much been overshadowed by her two older brothers, but it looks like Ada will finally be playing a key role in the family business. Considering the grief Tommy has gone through after the death of his daughter and the betrayal of his doctor, who gaslighted him into believing he had a brain tumor, the fate of the family practically rests in Ada's hands. Maybe this movie will also feature the start of Ada's political career, considering that in the season finale, Tommy even told her that she could have had a very successful future in politics if she wanted to. For now, all we can do is wait and see how things unfold. That's a wrap for this video. What are you looking forward to seeing in the upcoming Peaky Blinders movie? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.